Polish hippos in the forest now. You know, just trying to find some mushrooms. Difficult because it's so dry and before many people they go and they just, you know, camp, camp the whole area. And then what you got is like some leftovers, but still very nice leftovers. Look at this one, he's beautiful. Many of them like very dry with some uh, maggots. But um, I'm gonna eat them anyway, as long as they're not really yeah, dangerous for you. That's beautiful. Look what I have from the Polish forest, Southwest Boleslav. It's the best ceramics uh, in the world. I have mushrooms. Now I gotta like clean them. Uh, those ugly mushroom I cut, cook them first in the water then rinse and uh, fry uh, on the batter the beautiful ones clean and fresh and moisty i don't have to boil first i'm gonna fry them directly look at this beautiful it's very dry in the forest it's extremely dry and it has been like that in the september it's very unusual even though the last five years were very super hot which is dangerous. In September, usually you had a lot of rain and you should like feel also the fall and the autumn in the air. Night should be quite cold, but now it's not the case. It's just too dry. Those I'm gonna cut first into slices, into pieces, and then boil, pre-boil a little bit with this water and no also those beautiful ones. I'm gonna slice and just directly fry on the pan with some better uh, look at uh, the beautiful mushroom they are sliced me into pieces i suppose i'm gonna put them in the bag and probably put in the freezer i'm not gonna fry them today and those are pre-cooked already okay i'm gonna fry this batch of the ugly ones they are of course pre-boiled on the uh, on the deep water first olive oil and butter and the whole sliced onion first we fry onion then we're gonna add mushroom and give some spices, cream, probably maybe milk. I don't have that much cream. It's gonna be delicious. Polish hippo for my fans cooking mushrooms. Polish speciality, Polish great treasure of the forest. And of course, vodka as well. Look at that. At the moment we should just render the water a little bit. I, I'm not using no spices, no nothing. It's just going uh, freely on, on the on the uh, own juices with onion, olive oil and butter. Uh, probably I'm gonna use salt, pepper, maybe some thyme. Finish with milk and, and cream. I don't have I should like go with the head cream, I don't have that. So I, I gotta mix with milk a little bit. I, I just thought maybe I should just give uh, add to it some some soy sauce and oyster sauce because they always go well with almost everything. Just look at that. Uh, this is oyster sauce. And this is thin uh, soy sauce. I have uh, here is it's uh, cream. I think it's heavy cream. It's thirty percent and some milk. Okay, now I'm going to get some spices, salt and pepper, of course, a lot of salt, and maybe thyme. Uh, what I did, I just added soy sauce, milk, uh, cream, a little bit of cream, salt, pepper, and uh, Provence mix of, of herbs. Listen, this is so delicious. This is so delicious. Uh, this is very good, you know, the mushroom is tangible, tangible. You eat, you feel the existence and uh, resistance on your tooth. Al dente, as Italians say, it's amazing taste, very nice flavor of the forest, uh, beautiful. I don't regret, I went with uh, Jan and Susanna to the forest today because they gave me all the uh, mushroom to say, you know. We ate them every day, we had a lot of them and I say thank you to them big time.